All right, what's going on, you fam? Ryudin here. So, as you saw last time, our last episode, we got absolutely destroyed by the Nether, which is the big L. So that means we need a new planned approach to this. As you remember, in the last episode, I went ahead and farmed up a bunch of gold just so I can make more gold pieces of equipment when I jump right back into the Nether. What the? Are they gonna kill me now that I moved their block? Anyways, the whole idea is um, some of you uh, came up with this clever idea of ins why don't you just go to the nether with nothing and then explore. And I was thinking, holy crap, they're right. That is that is a very smart idea. So why don't we just run in there with some cobblestone and nothing? There we go. So we put all our armor away. We're going to go ahead and just jump into the nether and explore. Um, probably shouldn't bring my shield. I think I'm going to keep the shield here as well. Just because, uh... It took me a piece of iron for this. I don't want to lose that. Alright, let's go. I'm going to bring some pickaxes because you never know what's up. And then, uh... Go from there. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we already know that we're, we start out in some dinky forest area with basically nothing around me. What we need to do is discover what's around. What can we see? What? Where can we go? Uh, we need to be a little bit productive with all this, but traveling through the nether is really damn hard. I think we've already established that. It's, it's pretty difficult to get around. So, let's see what we can do. I know we can climb these vines. Nice little tip that noob Ryudin can give for anyone that didn't know. Actually, I'm sure everybody knew already because I'm the noob here. Thing worth looking at where we... S Wait, is that... What's that? Does anyone see that? It looks dark, the, the sand over there. Let's see now. Oh, crap. Okay, okay. This is what the cobblestone's for. We can build some steps. At least I hope. I think my plan is to build a set of steps going down. Actually, this is going to be rather challenging just because getting it at one level lower is... Uh, oh crap. Actually, it might be impossible. Yeah, we got no way of actually doing that. Damn it. And then you guys told me in the comment section I can't even leverage water because water basically disappears because this place is supposed to simulate uh, hell. So that sucks. I need to find a way to get down there. I'm very curious as to what's over there. Not up. We must go down. No, don't look at me straight in the eye. You will die. Or well, I will die. Alright, that strategy did not work. We need the means to fight, but we still need to explore. So basically, there's nothing. I don't need goodness knows. There's like nothing around me. Look at this place, this barren wasteland of nothing. There's nothing going on here. We got nowhere to go, no interest in terms of where we are right now. This place, we got a, we basically got a bad spawn point. We're gonna get spawn killed every single time. They're camping our spawn, it's not fair. Uh, that way didn't lead to, oh god, they're very, very close. That sucks too. We know that there's a fortress over there. We've, we've sort of dug our way to it before, but I mean, what else is there? Ooh, my bridge. Damn lava everywhere. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, real quick, I'll give these guys some wheat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me replant real quick. I will feed you, don't worry. Everybody eats. Anything for more food. Yes, steak. More steak, please. Put these seeds back. Boop. Organization on a new level. Oh! You stay there. Uh, you know what's interesting? I actually figured out where my house is. I figured out where my house is. It's somewhere over there. Maybe we should head back to our old house and work our way from there. So we know how to make nether portals too. It's just a combination of 
uh, a spawn block with the lava, which we now have, we know we have an infinite lava source for, and, um, yeah, that's it. There's it's nothing, nothing too complicated, so maybe we should do that. Let me put these on real quick. You don't look at me. Otherwise, I'm gonna get killed. Okay, let's make our way over to where... Oh my god, there are creepers everywhere. Let's make our way over to where our old house was. While we still have a full stomach. It's somewhere over here, like super far away. I remember I saw the beacon. And I also made that pillar there just because that's where I last discovered... Um, what was it? That cool cave that we found where there's a bajillion things. That's what that's for. Just to tell me where that is. But yes, we must quickly go back to our old house. I know where it is. It's somewhere in the top left. So we just gotta head that way. I saw the pillar. Let's go. Where is it? I should have increased my... There it is! Aha! There it is! We found the beacon. Our savior beacon. Now we'll quickly head over back to home base one. I kind of forgot what I had stashed there. But we'll go see what it was and then see if we can what the see if we can find an easy way to connect our our bases. I am concerned about returning to the village though. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I killed that leader with that dinky banner on his head, he told me not to visit any villages anytime soon or something like that. So I don't know what that really means. All right, here we go. We found it. Hello, donkey. Found our old home. At least the farm has certainly... Certainly grown quite a bit of stuff, which is cool. Now the real question is, what did I have stashed away? I don't think it was anything amazing, honestly. Pretty, uh, pretty noobish compared to what we had before. Oh, we had nine diamonds in here! Holy crap, we have plenty of gold. Maybe, maybe I spoke a little too soon. I may need to bring some of this with me. I definitely need all the gold. That's a 100% thing. As well as my diamonds. They seem to be almost dead too. Did I stash any food in here? No, I didn't. I guess I'll have to kill the cows that I got here. Just because I don't, don't really think I plan on returning back here. Well, I, I do and don't. But real quick... Look at all these vegetables, too. I'm sorry, my... My cow friends. You must all turn into steak. Alright, sweet. We made it back with the diamonds. Pretty damn good, if you ask me. Returned with our diamonds. And all these extra food plant thingies. This is gonna be great. I think we can uh, leverage this for something quite nice. Although now I need to expand my farm quite a bit. All plant related stuff stays here. Carrot, potato seeds, many many seeds. Wheat, more carrots. Awesome. And then we got a bajillion diamond arenos. And gold blocks. I'm so happy about the gold block stock though. Uh, that's gonna be perfect for the nether because now I can make more of these things. Definitely need more coal in there. Keep the fire going. Nice. 24 gold blocks. Are those the arrows I got embedded in me from my enemy shooting me? Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, now we're just gonna wait for the gold to finish and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into the nether. And I think boots are the lowest cost in terms of building stuff, so we'll, we'll, we'll do it with that. We'll make a pair of boots. Okay, I also noticed I have this backlot region here, which I'm not doing anything with, so I figured I may as well grow more carrots here, because per, per one of these, you get a ton of carrots, I noticed. Obviously, it would be better used for growing, like, potatoes, but I only have so many potatoes, and those are growing over there. But I think, I don't know how much water 
covers what grid, but what I do know is I got water surrounding my entire base, so I wonder if it's enriching this region too, because I noticed some of these soil blocks are becoming damp. I just put that there for extra assurance. But there we go, we got another food source growing. Heh. What the? What's the skeleton doing here? You stupid skeleton. You guys don't want this smoke. I know you don't want to fight with me. At least we do know that there's an easier way to get around. It was just down here. So we'll use this to get ourselves to the fort. Hey guys, I know you don't want to fight. You guys are cool. That thing is not cool. I know that thing is not a nice thing. To like, be able to go up easier. I wish you guys told me about combining water and soul sand or soul stone or something. And it turns into an elevator. Why do they fight the boars? I thought they were together. Oh god, they, they camp. He's camping in a corner now. But anyways, how you guys are telling me that I could do that? I, I wish I could. Apparently, in the Nether, the water just disappears, which which is a big disappointment. It would have been nice being able to do that. So here we go. Time to go up. Actually, while we do it, we may as well verify that there's no treasure that we potentially had missed? Ooh, what's that? I see treasure over there. That's a gold, just a gold block. It's just so intricate how they put these things away like this. It's just, sometimes it's very easy to miss. But let me tell you, I don't miss my treasure. Oh. This is an interesting section. Whoa! They like it's the way that they have that lava set up is like the way I have my vegetable garden set up. And I understand that these gold cubes translate to a significant amount of gold blocks. So thank you very much for everyone's feedback on that. Oh, is this where I died last time? I think it is. That's a brute. All right. Come on. Get over here. Not this time, but... Oh, God. Why is my shield going up? Whew. Why on earth is my shield not going up? Bro. Oh, my God. I almost died again. This time while actually being prepared. What the? Hey, he's riding him. Interesting. Holy crap! No, 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 no! <sighs> At least we know where that stuff is. And thank God I got gold. We gotta be quick now. I gotta kill that idiot. Now I'm mad. Alright, quick, 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 quick. We know how to get there. I don't have a sword with me. I don't have any weapon with me. Okay, wear this. I definitely will need... Uh, crap, 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 crap. I need a... You are my quick weapon. You are my quick blocks. Yeah, we'll we'll deal with that stupid thing over there. We gotta go! I need my stuff! I just gotta follow the dirt path that I made. Did he fall? He fell like the idiot that he is. Oh. We did it, we got our stuff. Woo! That wasn't too bad. I don't know how much additional damage I'm doing. What is that guy wearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, he had iron! If I understand correctly, piglins don't care about iron, he took my armor! But a pickaxe do more damage, this is terrible. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, you stupid dude. How I wish headshots did extra damage. Alright, I'm safe. I was scared for a second. That guy's got some enchanted pants! Stupid. 
All right, we're gonna use the power of building to debate him out here. Mr. Shiny Pants. Is that me? That looks like me. Is that diamond? This guy's a beast. Look at this. Four attack, three attack. Okay. Hey! Wait a minute. Isn't that my diamond stuff? Didn't I have diamond enchanted gear? Get over here. Does he want to fight? I don't think he does because I'm wearing... Oh crap, I just aggroed everyone, didn't I? Holy crap. He's got a diamond helmet. I almost fell and died to my death. He's eating his golden apple. Look, that's my stuff! Hey look, that was my stuff! I guess because I gave him a piece of gold, he was happy. Ah, oh, diamond! Welcome back. I guess the treasure couldn't open up as well. Look at that. Tons of delicious gold. No idea what the chain is. Curse of Vanishing. Now this is still it. It's just I don't... You're not a brood, are you? No? Good. I have no idea why he's so upset. Seems like a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? You're not a brute, right? Nope. Hey, Brother Pig, I, I trust me, I like gold too. There's no fighting among us. Ah, there we go. We're out. We take our spoils and leave. This may be our second successful nether trip where we got in and out. Peace. Not looking at you. That is a big W. That's what we call MLG. Pro Stupid idiot still there. All right, we're gonna take that. That was a huge W, if you ask me. We got a bunch of like rare goodies here. I should probably put them in here and stop putting crap in here. So helmets, nice solid gold helmet, gold boots, gold carrots, more gold boots. Nice golden axe as well. I don't know what the curse of vanishing is, but maybe it makes the enemy not see me when I hit them. Uh, who knows what that, what the implication of that could be? I'm also curious about this banner. I'm guessing I put a banner down and then I put the thing on. I don't know. Anyways, this might be a little bit shorter. Just because your boy is busy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time. I gotta I gotta figure out how to put myself in third person. I still don't know. But until next time, peace!